you got to be a Pisces to resonate with this reading. Yeah, that can connect with somebody who does have Pisces somewhere in their astrological chart. Or if you have Pisces somewhere in your astrological chart, it can cross this reading and just resonates with you. You check your Neptune and where you have Pisces in your astrological chart to see where this reading resonates with you. All right. You can also just like the vibes here, like the which is cool. Okay. You have the King of Cups, Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius, Ophetius, Pisces energy. You have the Six of Wands, Jupiter, and Leo. That can be Pisces, Ophetius energy. You have Strength, Venus, and Leo. And the hidden energy is the Star. Aquarius energy, Capricorn energy as well. So Pisces, if you are a masculine energy, and you are in a relationship, right? That relationship is going to deepen regarding friendship and the love. You're going to feel like best friends and lovers, okay? And if you are a single masculine energy, then spirit is trying to tell you that love, the person you're meant to be with for the rest of your life, right? They're already in your life. You feel that this, connection or this friendship or whatever it may be can lead into a real relationship okay with the king of cups this is also um if you're a feminine energy who and you're single whoever your masculine best friend is they're in love with you okay there's somebody who's in love with you now you have the six forms as well the masculine energy wants to be seen with the feminine energy in public. So if you see one in a relationship, it doesn't matter, okay? Um, for some of you, Pisces, people just want to be seen with you, okay? They just like to be connected to you, to say that they know you and everything like that. And, we're, and you're very popular, right? You're very well known. You're at the height of your career during this time. Um, if you are a feminine energy, you're more financially stable than the masculine energy because you're coming out as major economy. As the minor arcana of the Empress of Strength, which means like you know, most likely working in the entertainment industry, you could rap, dance, act, sing. Okay? But this is also talking about the unconditional love that you have for yourself that attracts in that exact same energy. It's also a relationship that just doesn't come around very often, which is why you feel so good about this connection and this relationship. Now, there is jealousy in the relationship and the connection if it does exist. Um, it could be theft. Or, like, there's something that you really want to come true, but it doesn't come into fruition because it's not meant to. Okay? Like, it's not on your path. If you are single, you're going through a very difficult time, and there's someone who's coming into your life that's sort of like an angel. Who sort of, like, you feel like they are the one. Okay? Like, you feel very good about this individual. You feel like you can really blossom into something um, fruitful and abundant. There's also a lot of success in career here, being highly noticed for whatever it is that you do. There's also body dysmorphia for some of you, okay? Um, or someone could like be overweight. Uh, that could also be something. Like someone is maybe not as healthy as they would like to be. And that's what's hidden. Like, there's some form of um, jealousy based off of uh, the body or just what other people have. It could be money, um, physical health. Uh, someone could be sick. Okay, someone could be sick. You're following your heart, and you feel like you have truly gotten, because the King of Cups is the top king, he's the number one king out of all the kings, because he's emotionally available, and that means that there are other things that have fallen into line, being mentally stable, financially stable, um, physically, you know, being where you would want to be, being physically stable, and then thus. What's interesting is it feels like you feel that there's a victory in giving the love that you 
um, have because you have the infinity sign right above. Now strength is also the recognition that, you know, whatever we give is exactly what we receive, right? The whatever energy that we are inhabiting within ourselves and in our heart, it reflects in our relationships and our connections because it's the relationship that we have with ourselves. Now strength also represents, you know, someone who, because they have learned how to love themselves, they know how to love other people. And this makes you very attractive to somebody. Okay. Um, so yeah, that is what I'm seeing. It is a pair. I just saw the Queen of Cups. Um, this is a very faithful relationship, but I do see that there could be jealousy. Or something about the body, like someone could have body dysmorphia. Or someone could be like overweight or something like that. Like somebody needs to get fit. Like someone's sick. Someone could literally be sick. Okay? Like someone's not doing well. Let's see what you got, Pisces. What's the advice for Pisces? A magical relationship is waiting for you with great excitement. That's literally what it says. So there's a relationship coming in for you guys. Okay? I feel like you with the Cups, it's like a love that you can't clearly see because it's like the sea. How deep does the sea go? Knows. <laughs> it's the same as as above, so below. It is still gives a sense about the actual galaxy being a mirror of the sea. That's the one thing you really think about. Or if you want to get esoteric and a cold, you can see the stars as people. But the actual emotion is hidden, like the sea, it goes so deep. And it becomes known, it becomes public. Like somebody wants a lot of people to know how they feel. And then with strength, it's like, someone else are very gorgeous or very beautiful because this is the sun being placed in you. Meaning you can't not see this. You cannot not see this person's beauty or not see this person's um, radiance, right? It almost just makes you put your hands up like a surrender. You see how their hands are up. And the manifestation, someone is manifesting from their sacral chakra because there's a beetle on top of the of the back. Someone's manifesting from their sacral chakra. You see very clearly what it is that emotionally uh, fulfills you or who it is that you want or what it is that you want. And I feel like you are being highly noticed. Okay, or you're noticing someone. Someone gets a lot of attention, right? And you're noticing them. They're doing their own thing. You think it's very attractive, but they're very independent. Okay, with uh, strength here, this is also like the, the connection relationship you find it to be exciting. Uh, Venus and Leo energy is very much so like a soap opera, right? So it's got ups and downs, the da, 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 but at the end of the day, it is exciting. Um, it's full of adventure. And it is fulfilling on some level. It brings a level of joy, right? Because it's Leo energy. So there's an, a level of emotional fulfillment there and a feeling of trust. Um, trusting your heart, trusting yourself, really. Trusting the love that you have for yourself and you are truly worthy of the love that you are giving to yourself. Thus, you'll be able to actually receive it as well. This has been, I mean, some of you guys, you know, you work in beauty. Or you may work in the esoteric or the occult, or you may work with uh, finances. Some of you guys may be teachers, you may work psychology, philosophy, spirituality, religion. Um, some of you guys really work, uh, like you can be famous or very well known. There is an Aquarius or a Capricorn or a Gemini that is getting like negative recognition or, re or like negative um, attention. I feel like they're a celebrity. It's like so, like a celebrity has like a downfall. I feel like saying it's a celebrity that has a major downfall. Like it's very public, okay? Um, like they lost hope, like they lose hope. That's what's hidden. Due to there being either multiple lovers, jealousy in the relationship, um, multiple lovers and someone didn't want to make a decision or like there was bad luck. Like you could literally feel like you're going through bad luck, Pisces. Like you really want something to come into fruition and it's not coming into fruition because it's not based in love. 
So there's something that doesn't come into fruition because it wasn't based on love. But you do have um, a successful relationship or connection happening. For some people, it's like an outing, like going out with somebody. Like, if you could choose out of all the people that you want, out of all the many options you want, you have the option you want because you made it from the five of wands to the six of wands. And you feel like they're worthy of defending. Like, you know, back off. This is mine. That's how you feel. Especially if you're a masculine because you're popping out. With strength here, um... For some of you, this could be like a, a date. Straight, the number eight and the number 17 could be significant to you. Okay. I feel like you've overcome a lot as well. Many hardships or difficulties. Uh, you learned emotional maturity and discipline. Even though it wasn't really easy, and now you're attracting in the love that you had to give to yourself in order to build a success. Some of you guys, this could even be like a date. Like you could Mm -hmm. It has been your reading, Pisces. Thank you so much for some joining Psychics. I do see that there's um, recognition that other people may not be happy about this with the star here. This could be like uh, communities, organizations. Um, you know, the star is really like, um, the star can be large groups and quantities, it can be fraternities, sororities, anything with groups, anything that's big, this could be the military, this could be the government with the star in reverse, but there's like, um, recognition that maybe other people don't want you with somebody as well, okay? Or like, this could be a group. Um, anything with a large quantity of people. Okay. This has been your reading party. Thank you so much for supporting Psychic Sid. There's a magical connection relationship coming your way. Um, remain optimistic and positive. Okay. Okay. And follow your heart. Ashe. <laughs>